Hi, my name is Naomi Singer in the clinical care program at CTEC, and I'm going to show you how to properly put on gloves. Gloves are one of the most used in healthcare to help protect you from body fluids and things. So you want to make sure that the gloves are fitted to your sides. And when you're putting the gloves, we'll make sure that they cover up your wrist. And then when you're pulling the gloves off, you want to make sure that you're pulling from the inside out. And you want to tip that in this hand, making sure not to touch it. And then throw that away. And then it's always best to wash your hands after you're done taking them off. Hi, I'm Amila. I'm a clinical care senior at CTEC. And today I'm going to be showing you how to properly wash your hands. Did you know it's the single most effective way to prevent the spread of infection? Um, we, a lot of us are carrying hand sanitizer because of COVID, but if you can, it's, it's easier or it's smarter to wash your hands because that sanitizer only kills the germs. It doesn't get rid of the dirt on your hands. So I'm gonna turn on the water, make sure it's warm. Not too hot. And I'm going to wash my hands downwards, scrubbing vigorously in between my fingers and nails. And you can count tw to 20 or sing ABC or happy birthday if you'd like. Make sure you don't touch anything in the sink or else you'll recontaminate your hands. And don't like sprinkle your hands or shake your hands because you'll be recontaminating. And then dry my hands with a paper towel. I'm grabbing a new one to turn up the sink so I don't really contaminate my hand. Dispose of it and you're all done. Hi, my name is Kylie. I'm a senior in the clinical care program and this is Bree, also a senior. Today we're going to be talking about your vital signs. Um, vital signs are the bodily functions that are vital to your life. You have heart rate, respiration rate, temperature, and blood pressure. Um, pain has also is also considered a vital sign, but it's one that we can't measure as healthcare professionals. We have to rely solely on what the patient says about their pain. Um, today, we're just gonna be showing you how to measure a person's heart. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the radial pulse, which is the most common pulse found in adults, which is going to be found on the thumb side of your arm, you're gonna follow this radial bone down to where it meets your hand. And you're just gonna, not too light, but not too hard, put your fingers right here, and you're gonna count how many times that heart beats in 60 seconds. Um, and, that, and that will give you your heart rate. A normal heart rate of an adult is gonna be 60 to 100 beats per minute. Um, another way you can find a heart, heart rate is if you look in your box, you have a yellow stethoscope, just like this one, and you'll find, that, find an apical heart rate, which is going to be right about here. And what you'll do is you'll just, that's wrong, you'll just put your stethoscope in and you'll put it right about here 
If you can't hear it, you can slightly move it around, but that's right above the nipple line and to the left. Um, and what you're gonna be listening for is a lub-dub sound that your heart makes when the valves are closing. One lub-dub sound is a complete cardiac circle. And you're gonna, so that's one beat. And you're gonna count that for 60 seconds and you're going to get your heart rate. Um, so if you do both of those, you could compare how close did you get? Were they the same? Were they completely different? If they were completely different, you might wanna try that again and compare. Um, if you're interested in learning more about vital signs and much more, think about applying to be a clinical care student.